film this tomorrow because I was gonna get up, shower, dry my hair, curl my hair, do like full face makeup. And instead, I just decided to do it today when I have dry shampoo in my hair and what I like to call the mom bun. And I just threw on the makeup I could put on in 10 minutes because we went and met some friends from out of town for breakfast this morning. And then I came home, decided to film this, and if you can see me right now, you would know I have on pajama pants. Yeah, let's do this. And I just realized my heat is running, and it's really loud because the camera is by the return air, and I'm sitting by floor vent. So let's give it a minute to let it turn off. Hello and welcome to my five faves for February. If you are new to my channel, then I'll just tell you real quick um, how this works. I call it for my five faves for February, not because it's things I'm loving just in February. I call it that because I'm videoing it in February. Just give that a minute to soak in. Usually whenever I come to you for my five faves, these are things that I have really tested out. Um, these aren't things that I just picked up last week and I kind of like. These are things that I have really tried to bring to you to let you know that they are worth your time, possibly worth your money, um, and worth you checking out. So, let's get into this. Since I don't have a ton of makeup on today, I don't know if the light or the camera can pick it up, but I just put on kind of minimal. I did do like a darker eye um, because I thought that would help make up for the fact that I didn't put on a whole lot of stuff and then I threw in the bold lip for good measure um, but let's talk about the only makeup item that I have um, for this video and that is the elf brow pencil I picked this up um, the end of 2016 I have it in the color taupe which I think is the lightest color but on one end you have the little spoolie and then on the other end you have the pencil and you don't have to worry about sharpening it um, because you just twist it for it to come up. I have been using the eyebrow kit from e.l.f. for a few years now. I think it's around $3 and I think this pencil is around $3. I like the eyebrow kit a lot. It has a wax and a powder and then it has a little brush included. But it sometimes doesn't look quite as natural as I would like. I love it for pictures because it gives a really great bold eyebrow. Um, but I wanted something a little bit lighter and a little bit quicker. So I decided to try out this brow pencil. I have used brow pencils for years. I have really light eyebrows. They are blonde. In the summer, they get even blonder because the sun lightens them. And it looks like I don't have brows <laughs> if I don't fill them in because they just blend into my skin. So I started using a brow pencil pretty early on, um, and I think it was CoverGirl, um, probably in, they probably, it was probably called Blonde, whatever the lightest shade would be. I liked that it filled in my brows, and it actually kind of just would color the brows that I already had, but I struggled for years and years to make it look like it was natural and not like a brow pencil because for so long I think the brow pencils that were available that you could just go pick up at the drugstore um, were just too waxy and not natural looking enough so I kind of always struggled with that and then I know they came out with all these products that you can pick up at Ulta and Sephora which were stores that were not available to me until the last few years I went in to Ulta one day and I tried the Anastasia Anastasia however you say it I tried the brow pencil that everybody on YouTube raves about I did not <laughs> like it none of the colors were a good match for me um, I didn't like the way the product went on. I felt like it was too heavy. I couldn't get quite light enough hand. I just didn't like it and it's expensive. So I knew I needed to try to find something else. So I saw this on Elf's website. Um, you probably can pick it up in store, but I was placing an order online. I had some free shipping. So I decided to order this and I love it. Um, it's so much more natural. It's the perfect color match for me. Um, because it's going to look natural with my natural hair color. It's not the natural color of my brows because we already know that's see-through basically. But I can make it as light or as heavy as I want. If I just want to run to the grocery store or somewhere late at night and I don't want it to look like I have makeup on, 
but I still want to fill in my brows, I can just do a few light strokes to fill in where you really can't tell I have anything. But otherwise, I can do a full brow look, make it look really bold. Today is kind of my in-between look. I just kind of mimic little hairs, little hair strokes. I take the spoolie, I brush through it, and then I do the pencil. I let it sit for a little bit and let my hairs kind of soak up the color and let my skin soak it. And then I brush through so it doesn't brush all the product out. The product kind of soaks in. For $3, this is definitely worth a try if you're looking for an affordable eyebrow pencil. My only complaint about e.l.f. products, the packaging cracks and the packaging falls apart. Um, the spoolie cap is already broken. And I really have only traveled with this a couple times on like an overnight trip. But the spoolie cap is cracked, so it falls off. But I want it to stay on so the spoolie doesn't get dirty. And then even the packaging that holds the pencil right here, it has cracked. Um, I've had that happen with the HD concealer. I've had the shimmering facial whip. The plastic has just cracked and the product starts coming out, so I get packaging tape. So I wish that they're packaging didn't fall apart so easily. I know that that's probably one way they make the product so affordable. I would rather the packaging fall apart um, rather than them charge double to three times the amount because I like that this is three dollars instead of six or nine or more. But if there was a way that they could make the packaging not fall apart and still keep it three dollars, I know I'm asking for a lot here. That's my one little hang up about this is the packaging on several of their products just kind of cracks and falls apart. As far as the product itself, I love it and it's worth a try. Next, let's talk about something that if you have kids, you're gonna wanna get this. If you don't have kids, but you like something kind of soothing and calming, you still may want to get this. Um, these are the Melissa and Doug On The Go Water Reveal Pads. This one is the Alphabet. Um, we have one that is numbers, and then they have some that are like coloring books. The only one that I've actually given to Harlow, I gave her at Christmas, is like a coloring book, and it has like a farm scene, a pet shop, all kinds of things about animals. This one she's going to be getting for just a little Valentine's Day treat, so let me show you how it works in case you haven't seen. So you lift up, and in this little compartment is a brush, and I've already put water in it for this video, so you would unscrew the brush, put water in this compartment, and you're supposed to empty it out whenever you're not using it. This one is the alphabet, so what you do is this brush only has water in it, but you brush and it's gonna color in the numbers on this pad, but then it also has these little boxes and it will reveal little things. I don't know if you can see that. But it's so neat. Um, it, it's very calming to me. I take hers that um, is like the coloring book and sometimes I just color it and it helps me calm down. This is great for when you want your kids to be entertained but it, you need them to not make a mess. We have taken this to church. Um, the few times that she sat in church with us and hasn't been in the nursery, it's great because it doesn't make any noise. Um, this is good in the car. This would be great if you have to go on an airplane because it's just water. And so there's not any transference of any colors anywhere, any kind of marker, paint. She also really likes to play with this at home, which is fantastic because if there's something I need to do, I can give her this. And since she's two, I don't wanna leave her with watercolors or paint of any sort and leave the room, but I can give her this and leave the room. And she says that she's painting. She can get it herself. She brings me the pen. I fill up the water. She can kind of sit down and have just a couple of minutes to herself. The other great thing about this is it dries back to its original state. So this is reusable. We have used the animal one. She got it for Christmas and it has been used over and over and over and over again. And you can already tell that as it dries, it's starting to go back to the white page. So this isn't something that they do once and then you have to throw away. It's something they can do over and over and over again and you are not gonna have to clean up a mess. They have, I think, four different pads or the ones that we've seen, four different variations. Um, and at the time that we got them, they were buy two, get one free and I think they're around four or five dollars each. This to me is worth the investment. So check this out if you need a mess-free activity for your kids. That's great for traveling, great on the go. 
and even great at home. Next up, I have a beauty product. I know I said I only had one makeup product, but I do have another beauty product, and we are gonna talk about facial oils. I actually have two different ones that I wanna talk about, but I'm gonna combine them as one favorite because I think that's the best way to describe each of them and to kinda of compare what their strengths are. First up, let's talk about the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argon, Argon Oil and this is her light version. I have not tried the original, I was gonna say not light, but just the original version. I picked up the light um, because I thought that I would see how I liked it. I didn't want anything that was gonna be real heavy, um, that was gonna feel like oil, but I think in the future I do, the next time I buy it, I'm gonna buy her original because I really wanna see what the difference is. But I only have, I am down to here. I bought this, um, if you watch my Sephora haul video that I did in September, um, this came in that order from Sephora and I have used it night and day. Um, I used it night and day for about three months and then I got the Tarte one that I'll talk about in a minute um, because I started running out of this. I put it on around my eyes because she says this is safe to use around your eye area. So I put it all around my eyes. I put it um, right in here. I put it on my forehead. Um, and I do that to try to help with the appearance of lines because my forehead naturally has always had lines. So I have noticed, I think, that it has helped minimize the appearance of my lines a little bit. And then I put it around my eyes because I um, don't want to start getting <laughs> lines around there. So I try to use that as a preventive method and also to help with any kind of dryness. The huge difference I've seen is how much better makeup goes on under my eyes, whether it's foundation or concealer, it just glides on. Because before I noticed that my makeup was settling into lines, it looked dry and kind of cracked. Sometimes it would look a little cakey. So what I do is I just dab it on and then I put my makeup on and my makeup just sits so much better. I really like this. I think it's a high quality product. The only downside, and I think it's because it's the light version, I have not seen a difference with my dry skin. I get dry patches on my cheeks and I've tried this for months, tried patting it onto my cheeks, rubbing it into my cheeks, and I haven't seen that it's helped with my dry skin. If I had the original formula, that might be a different case. While this hasn't been a cure for dry skin, this has been great for helping my makeup sit better and for the appearance of lines. It is lightweight, I don't feel oily, it sets into my skin really fast. I use it at night with my moisturizer and my night lotion, and then I use it in the day with my day moisturizer and to help my makeup set better. So I, this is a great product. Lots of good things to say about this. The other facial oil I bought um, beginning of January, sometime in January, when Ulta does their daily sale and they had this half off. So I got this for $7.50 instead of $15. But this is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This has been great for my dry skin. I can pat it onto my cheeks and it helps quite a bit. Um, it is a heavier formula than the Josie Moran. That may be, again, because that's the light version. I also have been trying to use this for my lines. Basically, I've seen if this can replace the Josie Moran for now, and I like it. It is heavier. The one complaint that I have is a packaging issue. The dropper has product that just falls out of it. So sometimes I pull the dropper out and I immediately have to have my hand there, or as I'm pulling it out, it will just drip everywhere and I lose product, which to me means losing money. I only use a couple of drops. Um, I do a drop and rub it between my fingers to pat under my eyes. I do one drop, rub it together, and do my forehead, so a little bit goes a long way, but I wish the dropper would keep the product in until I would push the top, because it will fall out without me pushing the little stopper at all. Whereas the Josie Moran has a smaller dropper and it does not fall out whatsoever until I push the dropper. So as far as product goes, I know that this little rubber top doesn't look as fancy as this, but this dropper is far superior to the Tarte dropper. If you suffer with dry skin, you may wanna try this oil, but even if you don't suffer with dry skin, 
oils are good for you. They give you the replenishment that you need, especially if you're stripping your skin of those oils and it can help your makeup just sit so much better. Let me know what you think about these in the comments and especially if you've had the original Josie Moran and you've tried the light, let me know if you can tell a difference so I know which one to repurchase. Up next is not a product. I have nothing to hold. Don't know what to do with my hands. Um, but it is someone that you need to check out. You need to check out. I've got her YouTube pulled up. Her name is Laura Miller. She is the creator of Raw Vegan Not Gross. She has a cookbook. I have not gotten her cookbook yet. I'm very excited about checking that out. But she has videos on YouTube and she has a website. Um, even if you are not vegan, I'm not vegan, but I get a lot out of her videos and out of her recipes because I'm looking for ways to always incorporate more vegetables, more fruit, more plant-based items into my daily diet, to look for ways to eat um, foods that are less inflammatory. And she has recipes that are creative, that are delicious, um, and kind of a twist on eating vegan. And as her name says, it's not gross. It's pretty delicious. She also is beautiful, she's quirky, adorable, she's got a funny personality, and she's just, she's very entertaining. So you need to check her out um, if you're looking for some ways to kind of mix up your cooking um, and to incorporate more plant-based items. So check out Laura Miller from Raw Vegan Not Gross. My last favorite for February, it's two different things that I'm going to show you, but they work together as one. Um, I ordered these for myself. I got some money for Christmas, and um, this is what I spent some Christmas money on. But I have a diffuser, and I have some oils that I'll show you in a little bit. I have wanted to get into essential oils for quite a long time, but they can be on the pricey side, and I was not really ready to invest in what they can cost. I definitely wanted to start out with the oils by diffusing them, especially this time of year when people are sick, when you're congested, when all kinds of stuff is going on. I started by diffusing uh, eucalyptus, tea tree, peppermint, those three sometimes on their own or kind of combining them together um, just so that it would help clear our congestion and we could breathe a little bit better. The diffuser I got is from Amazon and it does have a cord that plugs in here at the bottom, but I didn't want to have to unplug my cord. So here it is. Um, this was around $25, pretty inexpensive because diffusers can be crazy expensive. It's small, it sets on my bedside table. What you do is you just pull the top off and then the water goes in here. It holds 120 milliliters is the max that it holds. Um, and then you just put the cap back on. So you'll pour your water in and then you'll add your oils, which you only need a few drops. Sometimes I do two um, and sometimes I do up to five drops if I'm combining some oils. And the steam, which it's not hot because um, I can <laughs> lean my face over it and breathe it in. The steam comes out here. Um, this first button, if I plug this in, then you really could have a demonstration. Um, controls your light. This one has several different colors, blue, green, red, yellow, orange, can't remember what else, but it does different variations. So to do a soft light, click again, it'll get brighter and it rotates through all the colors. Or you can just have it as no light because the whole thing would light up. So I don't ever turn this light on. Um, and then this button controls your mist. If you push it one time, it's gonna turn green right around this area and that's going to put it where it diffuses for 30 seconds and turns off for 30 seconds diffuses for 30 seconds turns off for 30 seconds you get the idea that's what i would prefer because then that's going to last me all through the night and i've woken up and it's still diffusing in the morning it just the water will last that much longer but that little green light bothers me and I cannot sleep with it on. I like to have a room that's pitch black. So if you push the button a second time, you'll get a little red light. I wish you didn't get a light at all, but I guess that's how you know what's going on, even though you can see it. You push it and a red light comes on, it's going to diffuse continuously. And so that's what I do because that red light is not quite as bright and it doesn't bother me as much. So at night, I put my water in push it twice, get the red light, and it will diffuse through the night. It turns itself off whenever it's done, um, 
and it does it sometime while I'm sleeping. The latest combination that I've been doing has been lemongrass and orange. Those are the ones that I've been doing. And then my daughter has a vaporizer that I've been putting lavender in and it helps her sleep like a dream, which means I get to sleep like a dream. It's from Rada Beauty. I'll put a link down below. But this identical diffuser I have seen from several different companies. So either this company owns more companies or the companies just all buy it from one factory, from one manufacturer and put their little name on it. It's very streamlined. I know it's not as cool as one that's like a wood grain, but it's cheaper than the ones that are wood grain and it just kind of blends into the background and doesn't take up a lot of space. The oils that I got are also from Rana Beauty. Um, I checked out several different oils um, and I decided to go with this because they had a coupon. So I got like $4 off. I don't remember the price, but this was really affordable, especially compared to the comparable oils that I looked at. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six oils. There's peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus, orange, lemongrass, and lavender. I have only diffused them and only put them in my bath water a couple times. I have not put them with a care oil or lotion. Sorry, I'm like a beast today. Hair everywhere. I look like I have on a fur vest. Um, I have not put them with any type of carrier oil to put them on the skin or put them in any kind of food or water to ingest them. Um, you would have to do some more research to see whether or not these were at the level that was safe to do that. You need to make sure your oils are um, tested and rated to be ingested or to put on the skin. But I really just wanted to use it for diffusing at this point. The only complaint I have about these <laughs> it's always the packaging, is whenever you get ready to pour them out, this kind of dropper is supposed to just do one drop, but I find that whenever I go to do it, it just all comes out. And I've used um, packages with this kind of dropper before, and they were much better. So the quality of this dropper, you just gotta be ready. As soon as that drop comes out that you want, you better twist that back around or else it just doesn't stop. And I know that may be minor, but then that's just, you're putting more product, you're putting more oils into your water than what you need and kind of wasting it. So be light-handed with this dropper. Overall, I really like the smells of these. They haven't bothered me because I am sensitive to smell. It can cause migraines and I haven't had that issue with any of these oils. I've been very pleased, especially for the price. Okay, those were my kind of five categories of favorites for this month. If there's anything that you've been loving that you think I need to try out, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm always looking for suggestions and new things and I would love to hear what you've been loving. If you have not already subscribed down below, there should be a little subscribe button. You may have to scroll down below this video to see it. Click on that. You can also click the little bell icon and that will send you notifications whenever I upload videos. And also leave me a comment, which if you're on a mobile phone, you'll have to scroll all the way down past videos to the bottom of your little page to leave a comment. You can also check out my blog, marlaplainandsmall.com and find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'm on Snapchat, basically everything. The links will all be down below in the description box. You can just click the little upside down triangle and it will open up that box for you. I hope you have a great February, the month of love, whether you're loving someone else or just doing something fun for yourself. So have a great month and I'll see you next time. Bye.